some of my goals are actually uh, getting a girlfriend and uh, getting my driver's license. It's my dream to be a famous actress. I was the first cheerleader in the state with Down Syndrome. I'm rap. You know, I look up beats like hip hop, gangster beats, or whatever. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a weather girl, or I just wanna be like a famous singer and dancer. I'm gonna date two ladies. Who? Molly Cyrus and Taylor Swift. I love music, technologies, I'll be on camera, cool. Casting Born This Way was really in some ways like casting any show. You're looking for people with charisma, people with energy, people with a unique point of view, people that aren't afraid to say how they feel and what they're thinking. So I would say casting in some ways is casting. The biggest challenge for us casting was really convincing the families that we had good intentions with this show. There wasn't at the time many shows that dealt with people with disabilities, um, people with Down syndrome, and so understandably, the families were hesitant to share their stories out of fear that possibly their stories might be told in a negative light. I remember the day that you get home mm -hmm. and you, he told me, by the way, the show that they're thinking about Christine is a reality show, and uh, what was my no. word? Yeah. No. Well, there was You're a few that. other words around the no, but yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> through the years, maybe because we've met a lot of people through our kids who have told us, trust me, teachers, coaches, like you develop a gut instinct to know who is, who truly means trust me and you can trust your child to that person and who you shouldn't. There was a spark in the eyes of the producer that sold the idea to us. We knew we could trust this person and she would be faithful to our children. One of the things I think that made me a great candidate to show run the show is that prior to coming and working in television, I earned my doctorate in clinical psychology. So as a psychologist who worked with children and families with intellectual disabilities and physical disabilities, I was just born to do this show. There's just something inside of me that when I met these young adults, it's as if we had known each other for a very long time. I saw what made them special. I had a hunger to make sure that that was brought out and just elevate them to make sure that they could be their best person while the camera was rolling. It was important for us when we were casting this show that we really represent truly the Down syndrome community, which means casting people from all different backgrounds, different racial backgrounds, different socioeconomic backgrounds, different goals and dreams and aspirations. We thought Rachel was hilarious and kind of uh, honest. Zach Gaffin is my favorite actor. I like the way I like Becky's by his abs. And very genuine and just really a lot of fun. Definitely takes after her mom for dancing. <laughs> yes, I do. Dance. I mean, my father. It's a little tweaking and stuff like that. OK, mom. <laughs> twerking, 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 not tweaking. <laughs> OK. Twerking. <laughs> Steven is a film buff. And he, had, he came to the final interview, actually, with a binder full of the winners of every year going back to who knows how long. Uh, you ask me anything about movies, and they'll tell you who won the Academy Award in 1950, you know? All about Eve. <laughs> My favorite part during casting with Sean was he came to his final interview with a pack of cool, attractive young men. They didn't have Down syndrome, and they all came there just to support him for his final casting interview. And it was very obvious then we knew Sean was the cool boy. You know these guys, like, I've won a lot of years. Yeah, we're your entourage. And that means it's to my assistants. <laughs> yeah, we're your assistants. <laughs> yeah, boy. Elena had no filter. She's really what you look for when you're looking for a great cast member. She shares her opinions, she's not afraid to speak her mind, and she'll let you know how she feels. I love to talk a lot. Some people say, oh, you, you talk too much, you talk too much. I mean, wait a minute. What people would say that to the wonderful, talented, sexy girl like me? John Tucker had swag. He was the snappiest dresser. 
also was a rapper, and we didn't have any other people applying that were rappers. Everybody, come on, come on, tell me what you got, baby. Just got for you The other thing that was so wonderful about Christina was her family. Mm. And right away, we saw this incredibly loving, warm, nurturing, sort of ideal family that I think the type of family everybody wants. I learned from her that it's very important to say, I love you, that it's very important to take care of people, to make people happy. What was interesting about Megan is how ambitious she is. She was our first person that we interviewed that was driven, had a career goal in mind, had a business plan. She wanted more than anything to have agency, and she was going to make it possible to have it. I want to be a person that wants to go out in the real world and do, and do whatever I want. Network, studios, producers, they're all starting to wake up to the fact that there are tremendously gifted people with disabilities, not just in front of the camera, but behind the camera too. There is great possibility within disability.